Valbon is an engineer-themed Warframe, utilizing potent trapping modules to manipulate the battlefield in Nintendo's favor. Valbon is a versatile Warframe, suitable for methodical tacticians. Valbon is deployed in Update 7.11, and that is quoted directly from Warframe's Wikipedia. Valbon's abilities include Tesla Mine Layer Bastille and Vortex, all being related to someone specializing in traps. But you're probably wondering, why is he going on about Warframe? How is that game supposed to be historical? Well, that's where you'd be wrong, my judgmental friends. Valbon is based off Sebastian Le Prince de Valbon, and his name, abilities, and even his alternate helmets all represent his namesake. Born in 1633, he was a family of minor norbi nobility. Unfortunately for him, though, he would become orphaned at 10 after both of his parents would die. He would be placed in the Carmelite Prior of Samur, which was a Catholic religious order in Samur, which was the commune he lived in. There, he would study math, science, and geometry. Now, here's where things get a bit tricky. Valbon would join French rebels who were part, were part of a political party called the Fronde. Now, it was made up of French nobles who were opposed to the king's total authority, which took place during the Spanish-Franco War, which was when France was at war with Spain. And this conflict is part of a larger one called the Thirty Years' War. But hey, that's just those kooky Europeans. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Cute laugh track. Although, for simplicity, all we really need to know is Valbon is currently at the age of 17 for a rebel army as a cadet. He was commissioned for fortifying a commune that he actually had helped capture, when he himself was captured by royal troops. While he was a rebel, the royal troops treated him very well, especially Cardinal Mazarin, who at this time period had great political power and made some major decisions for the king during this time period. Afterwards, he would swear loyalty to the King of France and would later go on to be a part of another siege, but this time fighting for the King of France, where he stormed saint Menhold, which is the castle, well, commune, he had previously taken as a rebel. There, he would be promoted as lieutenant and wounded twice. He would then proceed to lead a charge and take his first castle as a commander. He would soon become an engineer of the king under Louis Nicolas de Clavel, and upon Clavel's death, Valbon would be in charge of all defensive structures in France. Valbon would redesign dozens of castles in France, coming up with his own unique designs that would be used until the modern age. Some of his military designs are actually quite beautiful, and I would love to live atop them. I'm sure it'd be quite the view. But what about a Valbon's abilities? Well, they too have their origins in history. Part of an engineer's job was explosive, laying traps for his enemies and placing charges on walls, collapsing them. Valbon's abilities, in a way, reflect that, but much more explosive. The Tesla gun essentially fires grenades, and the mine layer, well, it lays mines. And both of these things were used by combat engineers, or sappers. Fun fact, sappers dug trenches towards enemy positions to allow troops to move towards the enemy safely, and the techniques used by sapplers were perfected by Valbon. Now, grenades and mines, not grenade launchers, but grenades, have been used for a very long time. And the first real effective mine was actually used in 1528 in Europe, although a very early model appeared in China in 1277. The Chinese were ahead of the game. <laughs> and the first iron grenades that appeared in Europe happened around 1463. Now, Valbon's third ability is called Bastille, which entraps his enemies. Now, the Bastille was this huge fortress in France and was an image of the French crown's power, as it's where his political prisoners were placed. It would later be stormed by French, pe French peasants and demolished during the French Revolution, and that event is actually still celebrated each year with Bastille Day in France. The fourth ability is just a war wormhole. It's not exactly anything historical unless the French somehow developed wormhole technology that I wasn't aware of. Finally, there's Valbon's helmets, and each of them represent a different aspect of French history and culture. The Esprit helmet is a cool design, but it's the name that's interesting. The name Esprit actually has its origins in France, and it means the quality of being lively, vivacious, and witty. The second helmet is called Gambit, and looks pretty much like a beret, which is a very popular hat having origins in France and Spain. The beret has been a part of the military uniforms, the police officer uniforms, and the general populace since the 13th, the, 13th, the 19th century, and is even used by multiple other countries. But the beret is still seen as a symbol for French culture. The last helmet is actually called the Armistice Helmet, and the Armistice Helmet looks a lot like the Adrian Helmet. 
Now, the Adrian helmet was the first standard-issue helmet from the French military, and it was first seen in World War I during trench combat, made of steel and designed to stop shrapnel. And there's a full historical and cultural background of Vauban, a true French patriot at heart from his namesake, his abilities, and even his alternate helmet design. As always, if you like the video, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and a subscribe. If you feel that I, if you have any ideas that this channel could use, or you feel perhaps I got something wrong or want to add something, feel free to leave a comment, and don't be afraid to share the video. As always, I'm looking forward to you guys watching whatever I post next on this channel.